Good evening. Welcome to Honors Night at Blue Ridge High School. This is a little different tonight because we are going to have it streamed and recorded. Hopefully it's coming out on May 7th, which is our normal night for Honors Night. Um, I want to welcome everybody and I want to thank everybody for helping out and being patient with everybody through this difficult time of dealing with um, a remote learning and everything that we had to do in relation to this pandemic. This is the night that nothing else is normally scheduled because it's set aside just to recognize and honor the special accomplishments for all of our students. Not just the scholarships that our seniors have won, but all the other awards going all the way down to the perfect attendance, honor roll, and a lot of individual class awards that will be given today. The way we decided to do this, since we cannot have the normal ceremony, I've invited the presenters to come back and present their awards, and they will be given to the students in due time. Like we said, um, this is a special night that's set aside for recognizing our best kids and the accomplishments of our students. There are a lot of thank yous that need to be given out in appreciation for helping this ceremony. I want to thank the presenters for taking time out of their days to come help us do this recording and also uh, make a special presentation for their award winners. I want to thank Secretaries Nancy Hoffman and Jill Hardesty for putting this together and also uh, Jacqueline Meisner for doing the editing of this film to, so that you can all see it. I also want to thank the parents because without your love and support of your students, they would not be able to qualify or be where they are today. So thank you very much for that. For that. And I also want to thank the students because you are the ones that make us proud and you're doing, uh, have done a great job and this is why we are going to take this night to recognize your accomplishments. And I'll, we'll start with our first presenter. Thank you. Hello, I'm here to give the Marilyn Glenn Memorial Scholarship. Frank Glenn set up this scholarship in honor of his wife Marilyn after she passed away. Marilyn wanted very much to go to college when she was a young girl, but um, her family decided not to send her because um, because of some disadvantages and because of um, the fact that she was just a girl. And so Frank always had a soft spot in his heart to be able to give back to his community in this way. And we are very pleased to distribute several scholarships to our Blue Ridge graduates of the class of 2020. These scholarships are in three um, different levels. And um, our first level is a $1,000 scholarship. The $1,000 winners are Maddie Hauser, Savannah Steiger, and Kaylin Warner. The second level is a $3,000 scholarship. Those winners are Lane Nichols, Caitlin Bradford, Mia Carter, and Macy Baird. And finally, our top award winners are a $5,000 scholarship. And those winners are Josephine Aldrich and Katie Cole. Congratulations to the class of, of 2020, and we thank Mr. Frank Glenn very much for his generosity. Thank you.
Stevens, it is our pleasure to present to you with the Ryan Alban Memorial Scholarship as you continue your education in criminal justice. The Alban family wishes you the best as you pursue this rewarding career. This year's 2020 winner of the Dalton James Bruning Scholarship is Mia Khan. Hello, I am Brenda Hendricks and I am giving the Mike Hendricks Memorial Scholarship. In a quick description, Mike Hendricks was a science and math educator for 43 years, all 43 years in this community. Due to consolidation in our small towns, he taught at Moore High School, Farmer City Mansfield High School, and Blue Ridge High School. Three school names, but one community. However, Mike Hendricks was more than an educator. He was a friend to many in his family and his community. He was, of course, a friend to his three children and wife, as well as many cousins, aunts, uncles, nieces, and nephews. He was a friend to fellow faculty members and administrators. He was a friend to the students who he taught each day. He was a friend to the many athletes that he coached. He was a friend to approximately 230 students that he took on student trips to Europe. He was a friend to his church members and youth group. He was a friend to the members of the JCs and Kiwanis clubs here in our community. Upon his death in 2014, many friends paid their respect by giving monetary memorials in his name to be presented in the form of a scholarship to a Blue Ridge graduate. I would like to present this scholarship for the sixth year to a member of the class of 2020. This scholarship is worth $1,000 to be used for tuition or books. The committee, made up of four people, has chosen Kaylin Warner for this scholarship. She plans to pursue a career in education as an art teacher. Congratulations, Kaylin. I hope you find as much happiness and success in your future classroom as Mr. Hendricks did during his career. Thank you. I'm here at this crazy, crazy time to honor two recipients of the Drake Scholarship. For those of you who don't recognize me, I have considered this place my home for 46 years, and I love, love, love FCM Blue Ridge. This is not an appropriate way to send off our seniors or our faculty members but it is what it is, as they say. I am happy to announce that there were nine absolutely fabulous applicants for the scholarship this year, and so I decided once again, instead of just one scholarship, to award two. I want to take this opportunity to sincerely thank my committee who helped go through all those applications, Don Anton, Lois Dowling, Brian Sparks, and John Lawrence helped me in trying to decide who most appropriately should get these scholarships. I'm sad that I can't give a scholarship to all nine of the wonderful students, but the two who have earned the Drake Scholarship, which is $1,000 a year for each of the four years they're in undergraduate school, are Josephine Aldridge, who will be 
attending Wesleyan University in Bloomington in biogenetics and in art, and the other to Kaylin Warner, who plans to use the Pathway Program through Parkland to go to ISU or Eastern to get her degree in art education. God bless you, and thanks so much to all the applicants. I'm Gary Rissler, commander of Joe Williams American Legion Post 55 in Farmer City. Uh, our first award is going to be the school award, and our first award is for Josephine Aldrich. Our second school award is for Brendan Flannell. On our scholarship awards, we're very proud to give the Charlie Simpson Memorial to Savannah Steiger. And our American Legion four year is for Mia Carter. Congratulations, and I hope everything in life works out for you great. Thank you. I'm here today to present the Joe Williams American Legion Auxiliary Unit 55 Education Scholarship. And I'm happy to announce the recipient, the first recipient is Madison Hauser. She will be receiving a $700 scholarship. The second winner is Kaylin Warner. She also will be receiving a $700 scholarship. Good luck, students. Yes, good afternoon. This is Kim Hartsock. I'm representing Joe Williams Squadron 55, Sons of the American Legion. This year's recipient of our scholarship is Mia Carter. Hello, I am Sherry Bob with the Farmer City Chamber of Commerce. We are pleased to announce that we again this year have chosen two seniors to receive $750 scholarships each, and the winners are Kaylin Warner and Madison Hauser. They were chosen blindly out of a wonderful group of applicants this year. Congratulations. established in 1929. Our main mission is to beautify our community through decorating Main Street's planners, maintaining the town square, and making Mother Day bouquets with the third graders at Schneider Elementary, just to name a few. We cannot do this without the help of volunteers. In 2017, we started a $500 scholarship for one senior at Blue Ridge High School 
who showed a love for helping their community through volunteering their time. This year's winner is a wonderful example of this. Our selection is Katie Cole. Congratulations, Katie. Thank you. I'm Jeff Zog, a school bus driver here at Blue Ridge and a member of the Blue Ridge Federation. The Blue Ridge Federation is proud to present three Federation scholarships this year. We wrestled with 11 applicants and are pleased to award a scholarship to graduates Catherine Katie Cole, Josephine Aldrich, and Kaylin Warner. Congratulations. Each of these $750 scholarships are made possible by direct contributions from your Federation members. The Blue Ridge Federation is teachers, cooks, bus drivers, custodians, paraprofessionals, aides, secretaries, nurses, and many others who see you every day and support you and love you through to this day, your graduation. We wish the best for each member of the class of 2020 and thank you to the scholarship committee for reviewing and evaluating the scholarship applications. Congratulations again to Katie, Josephine, and Kaylin. Thomas Frazier Clark was a farmer and lived in Farmer City for a long time. After he passed away, he wanted to set up an organization that would do projects for the school, for students, the library, and for the original Amore Township High School area. This uh, what, part of his gift to the city was the Clark Fa Foundation Scholarship which is a $2,000 a year scholarship renewable for four years, which is for a total of $8,000 that we award to two students who are going on to either junior college or a four-year institution. Uh, this year's winners are Kaylin Warner and Caitlin Bradford. Congratulations. Hi everyone, I'm Christine Coy and I'm one of the school counselors at Blue Ridge. One of my favorite parts of this job is being able to talk to high school seniors and help them figure out their college and career plans post-graduation. We have such a vast array of students and it's really special to be able to talk to them about their specific unique abilities and skills and how they plan to use those in the future in their career. So without further ado, I would like to share with you the class of 2020's college and career plans. Josephine Aldrich plans to attend Illinois Wesleyan and major in biology and minor in art. Shelby Arndt plans to earn her CNA and then later wants to pursue her RN. Macy Baird plans to attend Southern Illinois University in Carbondale and major in forestry. Destiny Baker plans to go to Parkland. Chloe Boffa plans to go to Kishwaukee and then NIU to become a therapist. Caitlin Bradford plans to attend the University of Mississippi and major in biology. Nicholas Burrow isn't quite sure yet, but is considering Parkland or entering a trade. Mia Carter plans to attend Louisiana State and major in kinesiology. Katie Cole plans to do the Parkways Pathways to the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign to major in Agriculture, Communication, and Leadership. Jaden Dalton plans to attend Parkland or a local EMT training or a similar medical field. Tiffany Davis plans to attend Cosmetology School and get her license at Hair Masters in Bloomington. JC Dean plans to play soccer in college 
and major in psychology. Leah Delaney plans to take a year off and then wants to do some online classes to further her education. Zach Droz plans to attend Parkland and major in graphic design. Brendan Flannell plans to go off to college and wants to major in business. Dominic Gentry is going to be entering the Army. Drew Hobbs plans to major in network administration. Nick Hooker plans to go into the Navy Reserves and after finishing that would like to go into construction. Maddie Hauser will be attending Parkland and majoring in elementary education. Mitchell Hauser wants to run track in college but is undecided in his major. Gabe Jenkins will be entering the Marines and is leaving June 29th. Colby Larkin plans to enter the workforce. Brady Massengale wants to attend St. Ambrose for football and major in forensic psychology. Audrey McLean plans to attend Parkland for biological sciences and then Southern Illinois University for pharmacy. Brittany Meyer plans to become a pediatric physician's assistant. Lane Nichols plans to attend the University of Illinois for computer engineering and sciences. Colton Pearl wants to attend Parkland and participate in the Advanced Applicator Program. Chase Peterson plans to enter the workforce. Madeline Rosenberry plans to go into nursing. Bobby Schumacher plans to attend Greenville University and major in criminal justice. Zach Stevens will be attending Parkland and majoring in criminal justice. Savannah Steiger will be attending Parkland. Rachel Umblin plans to attend Parkland as well. And Kaylin Warner plans to attend Parkland and then transfer to Eastern Illinois University or Illinois State University for art education. I couldn't be more proud of our 2020 graduating seniors, and I am so excited to see where the future takes them and all of the things that they accomplish. Thank you so much. That concludes our Honors Night presentation video. I hope all of you enjoyed watching it as much as we did put it together. I want to thank uh, Jacqueline Meisner for putting all these videos together and organizing them. I also want to thank Nancy Hoffman for getting everybody together and constantly keeping on them to get our video done so that we could give this to you. I know it's rather long, but we want to give special recognition and take time for all the efforts and special accomplishments that our students have had this year. And we figure this is the best way we could do it, even though we can't do it in person. I also want to thank all the presenters, because just like you see me, even though I'm now in a different pair of set of clothes than I was earlier in the video. Uh, a lot of people have taken time to come through the last few days, last few weeks to do their videos and make, make it so this presentation can work out. So thank you very much to them. Also I want to thank the parents of all of our students. As always, if it wasn't for your love and support and encouragement, your students would not have been as, as successful as they have. And lastly, I want to thank our kids and our students. You are the ones that made us proud, and you're the ones that are going to go on and do great things in the future. So thank you for attending. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.